Lights flash and voices echo through the market stalls that snake between the Arts Centre and National Gallery along St Kilda Road. Rain pours down in unforgiving sheets and I sink deeper into the upturned collar of my jacket. Inexplicable joy, get yours here, just 36 bucks. Perfect day for some melancholy, discounted with the rain, only $29. Strangers rough my shoulders, hypnotised by the screens floating centimetres from their eyes. I walk up to a quiet stall run by an older gentleman who's carving a platypus out of an ashen coloured wood. Got any optimism for sale, mate? I ask. Been numb all morning, but it's something with some kick. Nah, sorry. This is going to last that gentleman skipping towards fingers. I turn and see an excessively jolly man dancing without a care at a prince's bridge. Maybe a bit too much kick. What else you got? Depends what you're up to. I'm headed to the gallery. Well, I've got some wonder available for 40 if that takes your interest. Sure. I shake his hand and I'm $40 poorer. He picks up an old scanner sitting in his lap and messes with it a bit turning a dial this way and that until he's got what he wants. He beckons me closer and I lean forward, moving my hair aside to expose the microchip in my right temple. He gently presses the scanner to my temple and has a beat. There you go, love. About a three and a half minute delay on the ship depart if he doesn't keep you. Come back after the trip and we'll bring you. The scanner ain't what you used to do. I always update. I thank him and move on, hurrying to get out of the increasing rain. I used to come to the gallery as a kid. It's been here since 1968, but the new government fears the power of artistry and is abolishing its public display. So, for the last time, I pass the water wall and enter the 450-year-old building. The main entrance is dark and mostly empty. The windows high above no longer let in the light they used to. Skyscrapers sprawling out further than they should block any ray of sunlight attempting to touch the ancient building. I make my way up the broken escalator and start a loop around the gallery. Wonder finally kicks in as I enter the grander halls of the gallery. The walls are covered with beautifully framed paintings, and the colours on the canvas reach out to touch my soul. One of these large halls, however, is not peppered with oil paints and old canvas like the rest. Every inch of every wall is smothered in small sheets of paper, and each piece of paper holds a different fading message. Some contain drawings, others hold a singular word, some frame poems while others keep heartfelt letters safe. All of them are different, written and drawn by different people with different backgrounds and different languages. It's beautiful. One sheet juts out at me. It's a poem by Emily Dickinson, written in a scratchy, uneven hand. Hope is the thing with feathers that perches in the soul and sings the tune without words and never stops at all. And sweetest in the gale is heard and 
soul the sweetest song that could abash the little bird that kept so many warm. I've heard it in the chillest land and on the strangest sea, yet never in eternity it asked a crown of me. Suddenly, a sharp pain shoots through my right temple. My hand flies to it and comes away slightly bloody with the microchip cradled in its palm. My newly purchased wonder snaps into nothingness and a fluttering warmth of hope rises inside my chest. It is such a small emotion, but I have never felt anything so powerful. I understand now why the government fears artistry so much. I don't want to let this feeling go. I can't let anyone take it away. Not again.